Duckies, Andy Lippy here, back with another advanced OBS tutorial. And today we're looking at embedding different Twitch streams or basically any URL into your OBS. So if you want to do multi streaming or something like that, I mean, it's sad Mixer's gone because I enjoyed that part of Mixer, but now you can put everybody's screen into your own OBS as well. So multi streams are back and looking more awesome than ever. Okay, guys, but before we get into it, make sure you like the video, also subscribe, and if you've got any questions, let me know in the comments below, or visit me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash and I'll get it answered face-to-face-ish. Well, it's not face-to-face, -face, you know what I'm saying, but let's get on with it. Put your rock for the stone, let's go! So just before we get into this, there are going to be a few things that we need to get. We need to get VLC player if you've not already. I mean, VLC is free for anyone. I'm going to leave all the links down below that you're going to hear about now. So once we're on the VLC website, we need to get this Windows 64 bit. Because if you don't get that one, then OBS is not going to be able to understand or it's not going to see that you've got VLC installed at all. So get that downloaded and install it. Just do the standard installation. Next, 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 next. You know what to do. Don't be doing no funny business or anything like that. Make sure you restart OBS and then it should show up on your sources. So go to sources, press the plus, and we can see VLC video source. So we're going to add that in now. I'm just going to call it VLC video source now. We've got plenty of different options on here for creating a playlist and multiple video feeds because not only can we add files from here and directories for multiple files, but we can also do URLs as well. So when we add URL, you'd think, oh, if I want my Twitch stream on there or somebody else's Twitch stream, I just type in their Twitch link there. That is not the case. We need to get the direct video feed. I'm going to show you a cool little website that I like to use called Stream URL Extraction Tool and you'll be able to see it just here. I'm going to drop that link down below like I say. I'm going to go to a Twitch stream. I'm going to go to my boy Che. He's an awesome guy. Definitely go and check him out. He plays a lot of FPS games and he's pretty good. Shame about his concentration face like but we've all got them. And then once we've copied that URL, we're going to paste it just into here, which I already had mine in there. Press get stream URL, and it's going to show us all the available um, quality settings and everything like that. I'm going to choose the 720p. I'm going to copy that link address just there by right clicking. Go back into OBS, into our VLC video source. Press plus on the playlist. Add URL, and I'm going to paste that URL directly into there. Press OK. And then as if by magic, it'll automatically start playing. We can resize it, change it to whatever we want, and that's it. We've added that straight into OBS. So this is his live stream now. Straight into OBS, it means that we can put multiple video sources on there as well, which is really, really handy. I love this little tool. You'll probably see that I've got this media control section where I can uh, pause and stop the video feed, and also next as well. So... That is actually a plugin that Exceldra has created. So if you want to see a bit more about that, go and press the video just up here. It's an awesome tool if you're going to be using multiple things like this. Because if I add another stream in, for instance, I'm going to just choose this random one here. Copy that link address. And I want to add that back into this source. If we uh, double click on it, press the plus, add another URL. Type that in there, press OK. And we've got two URLs in there. Two video sources, and this is going to load it in. If I press next, it'll load the next URL just in here as well. Quite a handy little tool if you want to put multiple streams, or not just even Twitch streams. You could put any sort of URL video feed directly into there, which is awesome. for Especially if you're doing commentating on games and stuff, and you, the, you want to, I don't know, swap between people's cameras, their live feeds, and and actually get some more visibility on people, especially with what's been going on in the world now, where everyone's doing things away from uh, events and things. It's pretty cool to be able to do stuff like that. But if you've got any questions, let me know in the comment section below. Also, make sure you're subscribed and like. Come and visit me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Andy Lippy. Put your rock over the stone. I'll see you in the next one.